What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing. It just waved. This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 418 for Wednesday, December 15th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Father Christmas, <laughs> otherwise known as Eric. Ten days. Ten days. Ten, uh, ten, days, ten days till Christmas. Are you sure? I am positive. You said it's the 15th? Yes. It's on the 25th? Because, you know, according to my... Here we go. <laughs> according to my uh, chocolate advent calendar, it's like tomorrow. Well, yeah. <laughs> It was last week for my. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I used to live in Florida. Uh, we've heard that rumor. Yes. I used to live in a houseboat. Did you know that? That I hadn't heard. I, it was a very short period of time um, when I first moved down there. I lived in a houseboat. And for a while, I actually dated the girl in the next boat. Your neighbor houseboat girl. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We were, we were two young people in the same arena. So this was years ago. Years, years ago, yeah, yeah. It then what happened? It, it didn't work out. We drifted apart. Oh, well, that's good. Because <laughs> then you met Lisa, <laughs> yes. who was here last week. <laughs> she was. I watched. I actually watched the podcast on my phone as I was walking to uh, pick her up at the train station. So you know something about seagulls then? Seagulls. Okay. They're not bagels. Okay. He watched. He watched the podcast. Speaking I did. of Christmas. Yes. What did the third wise man say after the first two had presented their gifts? But wait, there's myrrh. Oh. <laughs> terrible, 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 terrible. All right. Got the joke. We got that out of the way. Got that out of the way. Let's do it by segments today. Segments? I've got a whole new idea. Okay, segments. great. So we're going to start with of note. Of note, of okay. Of note is, you're back. Uh, I'm back, yes. You were in Chicago. I was in Chicago for Tell a week. Tell me all about it. Um, you know, it's 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 uh, it's kind of fun exploring new places, um, but uh, I was there uh, pretty much Sunday through Friday. I think we heard you got a new coat. I, it, it followed me out of Macy's. It followed you. Um, I, it was the craziest thing. Uh, I, I actually turned it down, but then Lisa insisted, so um, I guess it's my... Groundhog Day present, but, but uh, you do like it. I do like it. It's yeah. very nice. It's a, it's a very eggplanty color, um, so it's my my one coat for the year. This year or next? Well, well you know, we're right on that. <laughs> no, I, I, I can get one in January. Yeah. Um, sure. yep. For those who don't know, I have this weird affection for I winter coats. I think it was last week. It was called a fetish. Maybe fetish. I maybe call I'm it a making fetish. that up. I don't know. Is one a year a fetish? <laughs> It's been many years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I had a good time in Chicago. I uh, got to see a lot of people. Uh, we had the Ken Rowe event with uh, Carrie with Yeager. Carrie Yeager. That, was, that was a ton of fun. Now, got every to... time you have a Ken Rowe event yes. with Carrie, yes. you see things that aren't released yet. Did that happen? You it, don't have to it, tell me what they were. It did. You did. You've seen yes. things. I've seen what the new, uh, pretty much what most of the new SDs are going to be like, oh. or a, a good chunk of them. Uh, how many were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight 52? or eight or ten. Eight or ten new. SDs. Eight or ten new uh, new colors before the end of this year. No, 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 no. These these will be coming out next year, but some of them are just. So he had the prototypes, I imagine. No, actually, he didn't. He forgot to bring them. Oh, you saw pictures. Well, we saw pictures. Yeah, yeah. So, but so, uh, nice, nice looking pens. Nice looking pens. Yeah, and and yeah. It's always nice for you to see Carrie because you see things that we haven't seen. Yet. Yes. Yeah. Now, six months from now, you'll be saying, oh, yeah, I saw this in Chicago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And I've pretty, pretty much committed to all the, the new colors. So. Well, yeah, as you would. <clears throat> yep. These are popular pens. Yes. And you're saying they're just going to get better next year? They're, they're, they're keeping along the line of creative acrylics. Okay. Well, um, really doing them, really doing them well. They catch my attention. Yes. These are going to catch people's attention. Okay. I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. We'll wait. Yeah. Then what happened? Uh, let's see. What else? We, had a, we had a sailor event on Friday. Um, that was a lot of fun. We had a lot of really cool pens, which we are going to have. That's we'll, in a different subject. We'll, that's a different section. Yeah, that's a different section. Yeah, that's yeah. A different section. Yeah. Uh, we'll but we, put a pin in that. We'll put a pin in that one. Uh, but uh, well, we had some, some, some cool sailors at the sailor event. Um, new restaurant that I found, but other than that, uh, I imagine you went out to dinner with Carrie. 
Yes, uh-huh. yes, yeah. The Berghoff, my good new time favorite. Was had by all. Yeah, they had a little live band playing some some blues. Really good band, a um, little trio. At the you bar, you had a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't hear him across the table, but you know, well, there's music playing. There. And and I, apparently, the music is good. You don't and need so, conversation. yeah. So except for the waitress says, you know, do you want a do you want a 16 ounce beer or do you want a a big beer? But I couldn't hear her, so I just did this. So you got a yard. I, it was like it was this big around. It must have been you know what is that nine inches around? I mean this huge mug. It was a little ridiculous. But you finished it. Well, I had to. You had to. Carrie was paying, so I didn't want to go to waste. Anyway. Anyway, uh, also of note, uh, do you remember a long time ago we had Nib Noobs? Yes. Do you remember The Nib Noobs have graduated. Jason, one of the Nib Noobs, has has had a baby last Thursday. He and Mrs. What? Not Kim, who was on Nib (laughs) but Mrs. Jason. Who was never in a video? We have, we have a little loop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's I'll fantastic. I'll show you a picture, and I'll make sure Justin has it to show show everybody. What oh, cutie pie? Uh, huh? Milo, Milo James. Milo James. Milo James. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. So, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, another nib noob. Another nib noob. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Faber Castell sale ended Monday. Monday. So the twenty five percent off sale uh, is officially over. Um, that's the kind of a once a year thing that they've been doing lately. It was a great sale. We sold uh, a lot of ink. Yes, ink is always always the big seller. Uh, do note that there is going to be a price increase on Faber Castell products coming up January first. Yeah. So, so if you missed the sale, or maybe you just wanted to stock up on something else extra, or post Christmas or something like that, just keep that in mind. Um, price increase coming up January first for Faber Castell. Yes. Is that it for everything of note? Um, we should uh, also note uh, today is kind of the USPS cutoff uh, for uh, uh, Continental yes. US shipping uh, to ensure uh, that uh, arrival. orders arrival by Christmas. By Christmas. Uh, there actually date is the 16th, but uh, if you order by midnight tonight, the 15th. It'll go out tomorrow. It will go out tomorrow, barring any unusual circumstances or things that need to be um, ordered, what have you. Uh, we'll go out tomorrow and you'll get it by Christmas. That's what the U.S. Postal Service so is saying. Tonight is the cutoff. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm finished with my shopping. Are you? Yes. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not done. I do not. I am working feverishly. I am actually, I'm working on a present for Lisa. Um, but that doesn't really include shopping, does it? it she it's, it's might going, be watching this. Well, she might be. I'm not going to say what it is. Okay. But... Uh, I've, and she knows I'm working on something for her, but oh, I, I okay. need—I do need to get some materials, as they say. Ah, so you're not done. I'm not done. I am done. nowhere near done. But so so, the kid, the, we just give the kids money and whatever, and they're happy. They're done. Yeah. So you need materials. So you got to go materials. to the jewelry store, buy some loose gems. Uh, yeah, I need some diamonds, diamonds. and <laughs> rubies, rubies and emeralds, pearls. So anyway, moving on. Um, new stuff. New stuff. We're gonna go to new stuff. We're gonna do new stuff now. Are we sure we're we're done? I think we're done. <laughs> We'll find out <laughs> new stuff. I got a whole bunch of new stuff here. Uh, this this isn't this, this isn't, isn't new. This really? isn't new, but uh, this appeared at the sailor event. Uh, we have one remaining sailor 110th anniversary shiragane. Shiragane, which um, is this, gorgeous. This this is actually my pen. I, the other one is actually still sealed, of course. Still in the box. But I can see it from here. This Take my is, word for it. This is a great pen. And we have a, a broad nib, right? It's a broad, broad nib. nib, yep, yep. Sterling silver cap uh, and body. Um, what a great what a great pen. I love this pen. This has been on my desk since... And you do you keep it right here in the box? Because uh, the box kind of... The box is really kind of neat because it's got this little this groove on the, the cap. Top. Yeah, that's the top. And then the bottom also has... Plus it has a oh, little... Uh, business cards. Yeah, you can put business cards, you can put paper clips, you can put extra uh, cartridges, what have you. So the pen rests oh, right in the right box. There, or right here. Yeah, or right there. I use that because yeah. you have room for your fingers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, but it's a great pen. Uh, it's got that unique two-tone 21-carat uh, nib with a special stamping on it for 110th anniversary. And you're happy with your I pen. am ecstatic with mine. I love this very thing. Very special. It's very, very special. very special. The roll stop uh, is super cool. I love it. Integrated into the into the top of the cap, and then the gold, frosted gold logo 
with the anchor now. With the anchor, yeah. The, this is the new anchor. This is the new this anchor, the new so anchor. it's a little sharper at the bottom. Right. Yep. Very so nice. we have one of those left. Uh, and I know we actually never were able to offer the broad to the general public because... In that pen, we didn't have In that pen, because the ones that came in, well, I took one, and then I had uh, two two local customers that had told me in advance. That they wanted that broad. The broad, Shirogane, right yep. So we got one left. Right so, there. Right there. I can it's, see the box. Well, it's actually, yeah. It's still sealed up. There you go. There you go. Sure got it. Order by tonight. It'll be there for Christmas. Well, yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> um, this is new. This is so new. I, I haven't even spent more than five minutes on this. Okay. The Schaefer Icon. Now, this pen uh, actually was announced last year. And then it just, as with many things last year and even this year, it never came to fruition. Um, it got put back and put back and put back. And... And here it is now. This is this is an, uh, a Schaefer hooded nib fountain pen. You've got the the. This chrome. is a chrome. Yep. There's a matte red, a green. That matte blue, blue is seriously black. cool. Blue yeah. is very nice. Yeah. I was partial when I stopped at the store. Amanda showed them to me, and I was partial to the black one. Let me see if here. Um, and the first thing it reminded me of was a vintage Aurora eighty eight. Because it's long, sleek, black, and hot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, it is not a vintage Aurora no, 88. No, it is not a vintage Aurora It reminded Aurora me of one. It's, it's got a nice girth to the body. So people are say, okay, well, Schaefer did the hooded nib thing a few years ago, uh, the Tyrannus. But the Tyrannus was a really thin pen. This is, this is, this is almost uh, legacy-sized. It's a nice pen. It's a nice, nice, a nice girth. And, and I was shocked because... Uh, when I got it, how, how substantial it is. The metal, the metal body, um, I was expecting a, a lighter, cheaper made pen, and this, this isn't it. Um, it's got the nice inlay on the, on the cap. It's not as uh, um, in your face as the Tyrannus was. You know, that, that was like this big piece of chrome, and then this has got a colored insert. I think they're just gorgeous. Yes. I might have to get one. They are affordable. They are affordable. Very affordable. Yep. Yep. This is, the nicest thing I've seen Schaefer do in a very long time. I was quite surprised. Yeah, and you know, and it's a little, it's a little sporty looking. It's not too serious, but yet you can pull off, uh, you know, the dark blue or the dark green if you want, you know, rollerball or something. Um, boy, that's a good looking pen. I like this blue. I don't know if I want the the black or the red or the chrome. Or the what green, the green, the green is nice. So, uh, fountain pen, rollerball. Ballpoint. Um, in stock now. In stock. Uh, I believe fine and medium nibs on these. Right. So. So. Perfect for me. Perfect for you. Yes. I'll, you, take, you, I'll just take one of each. Take, be take done one with of it. these here. The chrome. Chrome. So the chrome's got the red strip. Looks like the red's got red. Black's got red. Black's got red. Green has a green strip. Oops. And uh, the blue, I think, is blue. Is blue. Yeah. The blue is blue. So. Very nice, but uh, very, super very cool. Nice. I'm I'm just fine. Just happy that finally we've got a Schaefer product in because it's been uh, Cross and Schaefer have been having a real hard time getting product in, and so to actually get a well, uh, these a were model. worth the wait. Yeah, and I don't yeah. remember the price. They're they're sub hundred dollars though. Yes, I think they're sub eighty. Yes, they're really yeah, right, right, really right, affordable. Mark. Yep. The red one is calling me now. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> Every time you do a podcast, you show up. At I know. The, you I show know, up at the store in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, what do you got there? I have a box. It's a box. It looks like ink. I think it's Airbon ink. Airbon? Let me see Airbon. this. Let me see this. And it's Shogun. This is super cool. So we got it. This is this is a really a complex color, isn't it? It's I like the shiny on it. I might have to take this ink. <laughs> it's uh it's like a grayish brown color, but then it has this red and Sheen silver sheen sparkle shimmer in it. Shimmer. Yeah. So, that would work really well in a broad nib pen like that. Like the Shiragani, yeah. and we could ship it today. Today. And you'd have it by Christmas. Yeah, very nice ink, very nice. No, this is a, this is a really a cool color. Uh, Urban does a, a, a heck of a job on their, their shimmer inks. Uh, they're one of the best, well, I think. Well, they've been the making ink for quite a number yes. of years now. They know what they're doing. Yep. So in stock now. Mm -hmm. um, 
We do have it in Chicago as well. And you have it in Chicago? Yep. yep. Stop by there. Came, uh, sold one the, the first day I got them in. I didn't have them in for an hour. and somebody came Well, we've been waiting for them for quite yeah. some time. Because uh, it wasn't a secret that it was coming. And they sent everybody samples, so everybody got to see what it looked like. Then they wanted the ink. And here it is. What's blue and not very heavy? Light blue. So I knew I had, we had these. These mm -hmm. are so I, Esterbrook I just, SD Sunflower, Sunflower Ballpoint Pens. And I put them in the mailer. Uh, and I showed you what the mailer looked like. And you said, well, can't you put the fountain pen and the oversized fountain pen? And I said, sure, but we don't have them. This was yesterday. This was yesterday. This was yesterday at like 4.30. You, yeah. Your day is actually done at that point. Yeah, yeah, and it was 10 to 5. 10 to 5. Okay, I thought it was 4.48. But, but I, what I had failed to remember was that you had seen Carrie from Kenro. Yeah, that, that, is, <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. And and, and the, these were these were Fountain Pen Day models released on Fountain Pen Day. Right, right. And gone. Yes. Uh, in fact, I think we just got these because... They came in late. They came yeah, in late. The, the ballpoints came but in late. the fountain pens went immediately... And here they are. And yeah. I've got an oversized. Yeah, which is very nice. So now, I, I had this discussion just yesterday that uh, the, the standard size Estabrook SD is not a small pen. No, no. It's not small. No. Um, it is not in any way, shape, or form. No, it's not small, but the oversized small, is a yeah. little bigger. It's a little, it has a little bit more girth, but the section is, is still kind of the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, they both yeah, take that. Probably, you know, I've never actually interchanged them, but I bet they're interchangeable. They both take that adapter, don't they? The MV adapter, yeah. 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 So, so they, you can they must your, be identical. Your favorite vintage nib in them, yeah. But yeah, this is this has got some. But some we don't have a lot of these. No, not a lot, not at all. Um, in fact, I'm sorry, they might be gone by the time you see this. Podcast. Just, just, just a couple. Uh, they come in the gold trim only, which is really a nice, uh, a nice compliment. I think, it goes so. with the color. Yeah, yeah. It goes so. With the color. Um, they found a couple more, and, uh, and I, you somehow wound up. I, I I'm terrible. I, I really I really should never go to. I never have an event where a vendor comes to my store because, well, especially Carrie, because you know he talks well, you into things. Well, he's so and, nice. And he he has, doesn't he doesn't talk you into things, true. but he just he just has stuff you he, want. He just leaves it there. Yeah, I bought all sorts of things, and Lisa was just like, I, I, she was giving me the look. Well, you do sell pens. Well, I do. In right. order to sell them, you need to get them. Yes, yeah. He's so got some good stuff. There, there was a new line that we we looked at that we're going to bring in. That's got some really uh, two colors, uh, super cool, uh, super cool pens. We'll talk about those when they come in. Um, expanding on the Auto Hut line. Uh, so I, I bought all sorts of stuff when he was there. This it's is a, a Sailor Tagayasin. It's Ironwood. Ironwood. Um, this is a long discontinued pen, um, but I was able to get this from uh, our distributor. It's beautiful. For the event. So we had this for the event. It's a beautiful, beautiful wood, dark wood uh, pen, 14 karat gold nib. Gorgeous. It's a very pretty, seriously pretty pen. Friction fit cap with a nice little snap on it. Was it very loud snap? Yes. And you're keeping this? No, I'm not keeping you're this. You're not keeping No, this. this one is available for sale. We got 10? Uh, no, that one. We got this one. That one. You take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's not It's not terribly expensive. Uh, it's an 1911 standard size. Uh, I think it has a fine nib on it. Um, and of course, if, if we have any other nibs uh, that we can put in, put in it, we will if you're interested. Uh, but right now, it's available for sale as a fine nib. Uh, fantastic pen, really super cool dark dark wood vein. The wood is it. beautiful. That snap, it's, I like it's, the snap. It's snap is great, right? Snap. It's very, very satisfying. Very loud. I'll do it right next to my microphone. Uh, there you have. But um, so anyway, that's and this this because you had a sailor event. Yes, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff uh, for the event, and this was this was an, I specifically asked for this because I knew it was available. Oh, I knew it was sitting in the back of the warehouse. Um, so go, if you, if you look, like, it out for me. Uh, and it's also like, uh, if you're familiar with the old Teak, do you remember the old Teak from years ago? I do not. Uh, well, the old, old Teak was, was the same format. So the same design. Um, it's got this neat little uh, floral pattern on the band. I don't know if you noticed that. The old Teak was a lighter, lighter wood, obviously Teak. Uh, but this is in that same series. Yes, we do have a, a whole new section, the coming soon section. But okay. before we go there. Okay. <laughs> a, a quick word from our sponsor. 
watch the monitor. you a merry christmas um oh. moving right along where were you going i have no idea <laughs> coming soon coming soon coming soon stuff is coming uh, and this it will be soon this this is pretty seriously cool um the sailor blue dawn oh, limited edition yep. uh the special 21 carat uh pen with the the special nib with the 21 uh on the nib a nice material. This is. Uh, I, I like the what I've seen in the pictures. Yeah, I like this. This is a great kind of a tealish. What would you describe it? Tealish, greenish, I'd with say gold tealish trim. Bluish. Tealish, bluish. Okay. I'm I guess it's blue. Don't write about that. But, so. uh, it's hard to tell from that with, until you have it in your hand sometimes. But uh, limited edition, and so this is actually a numbered piece uh, from Sailor for the uh, to celebrate the twenty-one carat uh, nib. Uh, and very, very nice price comes in uh, Pro Gear, full size, fine and medium nib, and King of Pen, medium and broad. So just those four. I think they made 500 King of Pens and yes. 1,500. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. Uh, and I think it's going to be here soonish. Very soon, this is yeah. Not, we're not waiting six months for this. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. I, I'm kind of on the fence of whether or not I'm going to add one of these to the collection. He's on the fence. I'm on the fence. I, I still don't fence. have I still don't have an ocean, and I don't have a fire to complete my the rest of my collection. But so he says. So I don't. Well, I mean, they're in the case <laughs> for sale. But yeah. anyway, uh, Sailor Blue Dawn Pro Blue Gear Dawn. coming soon. Uh, you can uh, check it out on the website. Are they numbered? I, I believe they are numbered. numbered. Yes, yes. Which is unusual for Sailor uh, to number them. I like it. Things um, when they're numbered. Yes. Yeah, so I think these are going to go fast. Um, and, and then that nib is just really pretty neat. It's got a very stylized 21 that just kind of all flows together. It's unique. It's very nice. It's Not very, seen very this nice. nib before. And yeah. you can sign up for back in stock notifications yep. Yep. to be uh, notified as soon as we get these we, in stock. We, we need to move on to the next topic because I'm going to buy one of those if we keep talking about it. <laughs> there was never any question. I, oh, there was yeah. never any question. I only bought just one sale in a while. Just the, the, nib nib is, the nib is beautiful. Nib is beautiful. The, yep. pen, the pen is great. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, next up, coming soon, uh, ST DuPont, Line D. Uh, there's some really... Now, we saw these... Um, Not we, you. Well, <laughs> Lisa and I saw these uh, when we had uh, Michael and John in after the Chicago Pen Show in the fall. The Starburst Blue and the Sunburst Black Line D. What... Stunning, stunning pen. Okay, because I've seen the pictures. This is, but you've seen them in real life. I saw them in real life. And they're, they're stunning. They're very, very. They're incredible what Dupont does with their lacquer work and their their powder and how they yeah, do. It. Well, they've been doing that for a long time. Yeah, they, they yeah. Should, they should know what they're doing, and apparently they do. Very classy. The pictures look nice. Yes, they're a great looking pen. So those are coming in, uh, fountain pen, um, and uh, I believe rollerball. I don't remember if there's a ballpoint option on that, but... Um, and again, it's sign up for back and stock. Sign up for back and stock notifications. They're, they're coming soon. They're coming soon, yeah. So when we ordered them, uh, when they officially made them available for sale, they were 10 days out, and that was probably 10 days ago. So oh, Any day now. Could be any day. Yep, yep. So that's uh, that's exciting. Uh, what else we got? Um, I had something here about the uh, Sailor Pro Gear Autumn Sky. 
Yes, coming and, coming soon. And like, like any minute now. Like today. I think yes. it's arriving today. Yeah, in fact, I think we actually got it in Chicago yesterday. Okay. So if you're in Chicago area and you want to see the Autumn Sky, uh, at least so, it does happen. Uh, this was coming soon, but we were doing pre-sales on this. Yes, and yes. For, for whatever reason, Sailor allowed pre-sales on this. And so... So uh, if you have purchased one, it'll it's ship It's going to ship out soon, yep. Um, assuming they arrive today, which yep. the tracking shows. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just... And we'll have some still in stock. Yeah, so might, uh, I guess since they're coming today, we, we'll have them packaged up ready to go tomorrow. You might get them by Christmas if you yes. pre-ordered. If you pre-ordered. So uh, I know a few people. So that's coming down. That'll be exciting. I completely forgot about that, even though it's on my list. Uh, well, what's interesting about it is that they announced it and let us start, let us start selling them quite some time ago. Yes. When I saw that they were coming, oh, I saw this yesterday. When I saw they were arriving tomorrow, which is today, I said, well, this must be a restock because we've had these forever. No, I, I researched it. So yeah. We've never even talked about it. We've never had them yes. on the podcast. Yeah, never seen oh, them. Wow, this has been quite some time. So yeah. Yeah. this is exciting because it's so. a pretty pen, an unusual color. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to you add that one? Oh, let me see it in real life. Well, you know, you can add it to which one of these? You can take I the red. I have to take one of each. Put, put one of that. Because I can't decide. You did, red, yeah. okay. black, I, I'll have a, I'll have Amanda box them up for you. Box them up. Have them delivered. In other news. In other news. It's a whole new section. In whole other new news. section. In other news. Sailor event today. Where? In store, Appleton. Uh, we're going to have it uh, run in noon to uh, to five-ish. Okay. Um, but we've, we, we had a bunch of... We had it last week in Chicago, and we had a bunch of pens brought in uh, for the event. Uh, some extra stock, including the, the Tageyasin, the Ironwood. Uh, and we also have uh, some other special pens, uh, 1911 Standard Machier, uh, including, there's there's a set of three of them. Uh, my favorite is the the Myco, which is the ivory colored 1911 Standard with, it has a, a painted geisha on it. It's really, really quite a nice, nice pen. Uh, but so we have those, we have lots of King of Pens, um, the new Ficas, we have uh, Abineros, we have all sorts of, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. Where did you, off subject maybe, where did you learn it was Fica? Is it not Fica? I don't know. I've been saying Fica. Is it Fica? We, okay. I'm sure it's probably. I thought maybe you heard it from Sam. No, I'm, <laughs> no. I did not hear it from Sam. Okay. So. It's Fica. I was just going to say. I was wondering how long. Anderson. I was wondering how long it was going to take for you to correct me on that. I don't know what's right. That's just it. I don't know. In the funny farm, we've been saying Fica. And now you're saying Fica. Or something like that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyway, you've got those. <laughs> yes. Yes. They are in. Thank you for clearing that up. It's clear as mud. Uh, including the King of Pen in blue, uh, which is really a pretty super color. And the red is really nice. The Helen Grotta. Very good. Did I pronounce that wrong? Sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no capitals on that one. Uh, so anyway, sailor event today in Appleton. Uh, come on down. Uh, and we've got, it, we've got it roughly noon to five. And only reason being, we, we want to get the shipping out of the way in the morning. Um, but uh, And then, uh, then this afternoon, this evening is our, uh, our little... Uh, That's right. That's right. I am company, ready. Company Christmas party? Yeah, it's the Secret Santa and Secret the, Santa? a dinner. Yes. I, I have to I have to wrap my present. The one you're giving yourself? Oh, I never do that. <laughs> I never do that. No, um, no, oh. my, my present just came in yesterday for my uh, my Secret Santa and uh, I'm going to wrap that up. And uh, Mine's wrapped. I've got some other things to do and I have to prepare my speech apparently. Well, you, you usually give a I speech. I usually give a speech. speech. I'm, usually in, I'm usually told to give a speech. but Who tells you to give a speech? Uh, the vice president. Oh, so she has already told <laughs> she you has, to give us. She has spoken. Uh, I don't know, uh, but we're doing we're doing something a little different this year. We're going to do a little uh, Mexican, Mexican restaurant down the street. Cool. Oh, so, that little place I'm familiar yes. with. Yes, the little uh, place you're familiar <laughs> with. You, you mentioned something about uh, margaritas or something. Yeah, they have those. So anyway, uh, sailor event today uh, until uh, five ish. But uh, if you come in early, we're, we'll I'll show them to you. Yeah. Cool. What else we got? I have no other sections Nothing on else. my list. No so, other sections. All right. So, did you read that last Thanks time? for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, that means you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Uh -huh. There's a store in Chicago. There is. Ground you floor. Were just there. Palmer House Hilton. Seven days a week. Seven days a week where mm -hmm. Lisa will be there. Lisa will be there. Lisa's smiling face. And she's coming home for Christmas. She is coming home for Christmas. Yeah, a couple days. Two, uh, three. Not, not a week. Uh, yes. Uh, Sorry. Go website ahead. is chicago.andersonpens.com. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel, please. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.
What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. <laughs>